everyone. Did you know that carbon is the fourth most abundant element present in the universe after hydrogen, helium and oxygen? Now it is present in abundance in universe but not in the earth's crust or in the atmosphere. Its concentration in earth's crust is only 0.02% which is in the form of minerals like carbonates, hydrogen carbonates, petroleum and coal. In the atmosphere, its concentration is only 0.03% in the form of carbon dioxide. But due to its chemical properties, it can form up to 10 millions of compounds. Now all the living systems including human beings, plants and animals are made up of carbon compounds like proteins, fats, carbohydrates, nucleic acids and many more. In fact, the food we consume are also form of carbons such as pulses, grains and fruits. We also use vinegar which is a preservative which is also a form of carbon. Now the plants also use carbon dioxide to synthesize their food which in turn is useful for many organisms and for themselves also. So you see carbon is very useful in many ways. So you see carbon is an essential component for the survival of all the living systems. Now it is also an essential component of the fuels which we use such as petroleum, coal, diesel, natural gas and CNGs. Now these all fuels are used for running vehicles and heavy machineries. Now the cleanliness materials such as soaps and detergents which we use are also made up of salts of carbon. The medicines like antibiotics and analgesics which we use to cure ourselves are also made up of carbon and its compounds. Now carbon in its elemental form such as diamond and graphite are also useful. Now diamond is one of the hardest substances known on the earth and is used by the human beings as a gemstone. Now graphite is used in making electrodes and also the pencil leaves which we use. Now we all have seen charcoal which is of black color. Now it is also a form of carbon which is used for the purification purpose such as removing the harmful toxins, taste and odor. So we have seen that carbon is very important for all the living systems. So this makes us realize to dedicate an entire chapter to carbon. We are going to see carbon in details in our next video.